What is going on everyone? My name's Cody, aka Tempervoid, and guys, today we are playing Oxygen Not Included. So this is actually a really cool new game uh, made by Cly Studios, or Cly Development Team. I don't know their actual name, I just know it's Cly. So, thank you Cly for creating such an awesome game, and if you don't know who they are, they actually made the game series Don't Starve. Uh, don't Starve Together, you know, all those awesome games. So, um... It looks like we have two of the same person right away, which I would not do that because that'd be extremely confusing. So, um, I have actually watched a bit of this game from other YouTubers, and that's really what made me want to get this game, and you might have already checked the Steam page, or maybe you're about to, maybe you're doing it as you're watching this video, but you can't actually buy the game yet. Um, but that's where you can buy the game, because you actually have to scroll down in the description of Steam, and there's an option to buy it there. And it takes you to a separate Steam page where you can, it's really confusing, but you're buying it through Steam, but not on that page. I don't know, but it'll add the game to your Steam list, and you'll be able to play from there. But, uh, yeah, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can't get some pretty well-balanced characters to start. So, basically, uh, when they start, they give you the option to basically pick your crew members. Like, you can get whatever attributes you want from them. But as you go through the game, when you get more characters, um, you don't get to pick. I mean, you do. You get three options, but you can't, like, shuffle it like I'm doing now and get all these awesome, sweet options. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to see... Okay, so this is a well-rounded character. Uh, Maha. I don't, I don't know why her name is Maha. But, uh... I think we'll go with her. Um... Okay, so next we have Carl here. He's really strong. He looks pretty swag, but uh, I'm never going to say swag again. <laughs> also, I, I don't want just a strong character. Some duplicates are just full of it. Diver's lungs. Okay, that's good. So I forgot to look at this stuff too. Um, uh, so they have all these expectations and stuff. Stress response. Liable to puke everywhere on defense okay so we can't let these people get stressed basically is what it's saying uh oh this is actually a really good so he's got a lot of strength and a lot of cooking i think we're gonna pass on him athletic really good at cooking and really good at learning okay i think we'll go with that so the only thing we're really missing right now is um having good like i think digging and good medicine so let's see if we can't get a good digging and medicine character here Oh, okay, you know what? I'm actually going to keep her here, and, um, because this is, she's all positive. Narcoleptic, can and will fall asleep, and, okay, so she can fall asleep easily, though. Alright, um, I think we're actually going to handle her, but we want to get someone who's good with medicine and digging. Oh, here we go. Oh, well, they got one digging, hmm. But he's got eight medicine, and we don't have any other medicine characters right now, so I think we're actually going to go with this guy. So, we have Nicola, Joshua, and birdie all right so i think we're actually gonna do that and we're gonna call this the temper void <laughs> fits perfect all right so here we are oh my gosh i've been watching this game so much it's awesome to finally play it alert your crew has awoken miles beneath the surface of an unfamiliar terrestrial body oddly they have no recollection of how they got here it might be best to start digging I agree, I agree. Okay, so, okay, arrow keys move the screen around. Wow, that is a uh, super touchy. Uh, can you, like, uh, oh, you can also use mouse. Okay, I was going to say, ah, oh, that's really touchy. It doesn't look that touchy online. All right, so uh, we're actually going to pause real quick because this game is all about oxygen, right? You don't want to use up, like, all the oxygen in these rooms. You have to make stuff to get more oxygen, so... You got to be very careful at what you do. So basics here, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I know that. Okay, colony management. Use the dig tool. Yeah, that's right. We need to dig, they said. Okay. And there are hotkeys for everything. So G is dig. But, uh, okay, so I think we're going to dig over into this room. Is there carbon dioxide? Ooh. I don't... Barely breathable. We need to be careful about what we open up because we don't want too much oxygen to become carbon. But I think we're going to have to do this to start. So, 
we'll do that and we'll say dig all this out please okay and let's make it an eight priority if we can i i know priority is more of a later time thing but i'd like to just do it now if i can so we're gonna play here now We're going to go fast speed now and just uh, finish this up real quick. Okay. Combat. Oh, what are they fighting? Okay, hold on. I got to slow this down. Um. Oh, there's like a crab. Jesus, I've never seen this before. I didn't even know there was enemies in this game. <laughs> Come on, kill it. Kill it already. End it. There we go. Okay. Ah, uh, so we got some stuff out of that. That's actually, it's actually pretty cool. Okay. Um. So I want them to dig this now. We'll get rid of that. Just try to clear up this area, and then we can go from there. Okay. So I think one of the other things we're gonna need is storage. Which here, here we go. Storage compactor. Okay. Uh. Oh wait. Is that? Oh, a ration, a ration box. What's in here now? Stores a small amount of food. Okay, um, so yeah, we do need a storage box. I think we'll put that right there. Hopefully they can, they have the stuff to build it. I think we're also going to put an algae deoxidizer in over here. Because that carbon is starting to spread like crazy and we don't want that here. Okay, um, perfect. So we're just going to put anything in there. And I think now we're going to have people sweep up this stuff. So like I said, I have seen a bit of this game. It's just learning the controls myself is going to be the challenge here. And, you know, setting it up myself. Because I want to have my own little system going and I want to try and be creative with it. So, But it looks like we actually got placed in a really awesome area. I mean, this huge area up here has a lot of oxygen in it. And just a bit of carbon dioxide, but with this water and all this algae, it's going to be really easy to convert that into something we can use. So this here is a vacuum, which I think if you open a vacuum, it gets filled with oxygen. Um, I always thought a vacuum would suck out all the air, but um, I think I think the vacuum's good, because technically in the vacuum there's nothing, so oxygen has to fill it if that's how science works. So I think we're good. Um, why is nobody sleeping? Storage not a loca- oh, okay, yeah, all. Okay, yeah, so we just want to store as much as we can. That's good, okay, so let's clean up always when we can. And I think what we're gonna do here is... I'm gonna have them dig a stairway type thing up here. Um, and we'll leave that oxygenite. Yeah, oxalite. All right, so let's see. Prioritize, okay, so we're gonna make this a nine priority when these guys get the chance, and I think I can just do that, yeah. Okay, um, now what we have to focus on is power. We wanna have a form of power to run on for our base. So I think we're gonna put the power wheel, which I, I've heard people say do the battery. Um because like you don't have to have the people on it but i think we're not gonna put a battery now for now so and then this thing the micro musher it basically makes food produces low quality food for duplicates yeah okay um so yeah we're definitely gonna need that and make uh the mush bars i believe they're called and actually you know what uh i think put that up into here let me just dig this out right here these guys get the chance hopefully they'll come up here and dig all this okay um cool so yeah now we'll put down the microbe mush bar station right there when they're done that and we're gonna have to give this all power now like it says so when these guys finish this here we'll be able to hook everything up to power so i'll fast forward real quick okay perfect um so now we can hook up the power here Perfect. Uh, what is this missing? Generate no power, no power consumers. Oh wait. Okay, hold on. I think. Do we need? 
Manual gen power sources. Yeah, power sources. Generator is idle. Oh, did they not finish it yet? Oh, wait, no. They, they finished it. Oh, there's nothing consuming power. That's what it's saying. Okay. So we're going to get someone on that hopefully soon. But look, yeah, it looks like it's got the uh, charge we need now. <laughs> I love this. This is awesome. Okay. Oh, I didn't even think about that. That's not... Okay, let's cancel that. I don't want that to be there yet. Uh, let's cancel this one right here for now. And where's the food thing at? Okay, so the micro mush bar station is going to go up here for now. Um, we can always move this stuff around too, so oh, what did I do? I clicked out of the window. Please don't tell me that corrupted my recording. <laughs> okay, uh, so we've got oxygen here. This is going to start helping us out. It's going to help to fix the, um, turn the carbon over here, which, look, it's already working. It's magic. It's turning all the carbon into oxygen. So that's great. Perfect, perfect. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, so these guys will get to work on this. And I think other than that, we are good. Um, I'm just trying to think what we should do next, what our next move should be. Oh, there's the girl who falls asleep all the time. All right. So they weren't kidding. She falls asleep very easily. So I think what we're going to do is also put a ladder in. And I think we're going to do it right here. So go to dig here. And then where would it be? Base. Yeah, ladder. Okay, cool. And they'll put that ladder in when they get the chance now. And another thing I saw that a lot of people didn't do early on is building tile around the bases. Um, they say it's good to do it like right away. Just get all the tile in. And, you know. Okay, so it is nighttime. Uh, we're going to fast forward through the night. They should be good. There shouldn't be any carbon. Or not deadly amounts. Okay, so. Colony requires toilets. So we should probably get that done. Um... Okay, I, I, if I remember also, it's kind of risky to put your toilet just anywhere. Oh, is that not ready to harvest? Okay, um, I don't want to get close to that contaminated water there. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to build a toilet down here when we get the chance. I know it's telling us that we need to do it, like, uh, ASAP, but... I think we just have to prioritize what we have to do first. I don't even know what I'm saying right now. <laughs> okay, so we're still in fast mode. Let's get all this built so we can put the toilet down here. Um, yeah, so we can put that there. So then we're going to slow down time now. For the most part, they're getting the things done that need to be done. And they did get some of that tile in. Great, great. Um, so one of the things you have to put tile for is it helps reduce uh, the duplicate stress. And you don't want them to get stressed out. Because if they get stressed out, uh, that's not good. <laughs> Alright, so they're building the toilet now. Let's just take a look around. Uh, what else could we do? So we could always build another ladder down uh, into this big area here. And we, we're really lucky. We have these nice open areas where there's a fair amount of water, but it's not like, you know, it's not like flooded amounts of water where they can walk through it. Someone made a mess. Oh, they're, they're, all, they're all pissing themselves. Oh, they all pissed themselves. Okay. That's part of this game, apparently. Okay, um, yeah, can you guys not piss yourself? and contaminate everything. Now one of you's gotta clean it up. Good job. Jesus Christ. It's like, yeah, oh, you you made that pee. Don't act like it's disgusting, it's your fault. Jesus, these people, I swear to God. Okay, my Steam notifications in the way, there we go, okay. Yeah, you guys all have to mop this up now, just saying. Yeah, you, it's, you all have to do it. And hurry up, be fast. You guys gotta hurry up. The toilet's ready too, so when you guys are ready to go not make messes everywhere, you can go do that. So let's fast forward. 
Hopefully they can finish that. So they're only stressed 2%, which is great for us. Um. Oh, two. Oh, okay. I thought he was choking. Well, there is a lot of carbon there. Dirty hands, light wounds. Stepped in contaminated water. Okay, so, oh god, these people are... So, she's asleep on the piss floor, Jesus Christ. Uh, so hold on, one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to prioritize them finishing this floor. I want this to get done. I really want this to get done. So just finish the floor, and then after that we're going to make priority 8 to get that done. Let's just check our priorities real quick. Okay, good. So I think everything's in order. I just want to see that floor get done. And our next goal is going to be to get water. Because we're really going to need water or we're not going to make it far. Um, It looks like there's a meal. I think we can harvest that. Yeah, I think we can harvest a lot of the stuff. Okay, we can't harvest all of it, but... That's meal wood, which I believe you can use to make lice loaf. So we're definitely going to need that. Um, and another thing I guess I want to work on getting done really quick is cots. So I'm trying to think of a good place to put these cots. I think we'll put the cots over here. Uh, where was it at? It's in furniture, right? Yeah, here we go. Okay, so one cot, two cot, three cot. Yeah, perfect. Um, and then... Alright, uh, where is it? Oxygen. I want to put another algae thing down here. Because the carbon's getting really bad down there. Okay, um... It looks like he's coming down to work on it already. Great, great. Okay, um... So we're gonna get power here. We're gonna run an electric wire down and across. And hook that up when it's done, hopefully. Uh, hopefully these guys can get that done. Which, it looks like they're on it. I don't need to prioritize anything right now. They seem to know what they're doing. Oh, it's nighttime. Uh, did they? Oh, they finished the bed, so that's good. So they can actually sleep in their beds. Um, what is this? No power. Okay, yeah, because no one's running. So that's a problem. Uh, when it's nighttime, these guys aren't going to be making um, what they need. It's duplicate movement and acceptable pass. Okay, yeah, we know that. Duplicates will seek out and collect water and other liquids up to two tiles away and deliver it to buildings. Okay. And contaminated water is yucky, that emits contaminated oxygen, can cause disease. Okay. Yeah, and small accidents can be cleaned up with the mop tool. Good. Insufficient oxygen generation. Yeah, there's like no oxygen right now. You guys gotta work on that. Okay, uh, this isn't good. Their beds are in a terrible spot. Um. So let's see. We're gonna have to put down that battery, I think. I think we can just we could put it right there and there and it'll automatically connect to the electrical wire right yeah okay so it should automatically connect and then oxygen we're gonna put another algae deoxidizer there by their bed just to make sure where they're sleeping they don't you know use up all that oxygen so these guys got to get to work you guys have to fix all this um, priority, we're gonna make this a 9 in priority. You guys gotta get that done. And priority number 8 is gonna be to get this system here done. So you guys don't die in your sleep. And I think also, um, instead of this here being how it is, I think I'm gonna actually have them dig all this out. Uh, is that... Yeah, that's not, that's not a bad place to be. Okay, and then I think what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of the micro mush bar. Uh, no fabrications. Que oh, I got to queue it. Crap. Okay, uh, fabricate. So yeah, so we'll have all that queued now. We want them to make as much food as possible, and we're also going to order them to sweep up everything they can. Yeah, oh god, there's a lot of stuff that needs to be sweeped. Okay, so you guys sweep all that up when you get the chance. Finish eating, please. Um, food. Yeah, ration box. Plumbing. We do have an outhouse already, and it is in order. Uh, furniture. Massage table, floor lamp. Decor. Tasteful memorial. So that's if a uh, duplicate dies, and I hopefully we will never have to use that. 
Um, because I'd, I'd rather not. I'd rather not use that, ever. So we're going to speed up time here. Our stress is at zero, so we're actually doing really good. The tiles were a good thing to put down right away. It helps just help out keeping the duplicates happy, so I'm glad we did that. I think putting down the tiles was just a good idea from the start. So... We gotta make sure that they're getting enough oxygen. Uh, like that's working. These batteries seem to be working their duties. They're keeping the oxidizers running. I think I'm actually gonna prioritize this here to a nine. I wanna get this oxidizer built before night. Because if this doesn't happen, we're gonna we're gonna suffer. We're really gonna suffer. So let's see. Should we make another outhouse? Is my other question. It might be a good idea to do that. Uh, I think if we get five duplicates, that's when we should do it. When do we get our next duplicate? In 98 seconds. So if we speed up time here, we'll get it a lot quicker. And it looks like Birdie just leveled up, so that's great. Um. We're still getting insufficient oxygen generation. Uh, oh, that's not hooked up to the power. Oh, crap. Hold on, hold on. Let's go slow. I, I don't want time to go by fast. Not if this isn't making the power we need. And we're going to have to prioritize that. I want the oxygen to be able to go back there, too. I don't want people in the back here dying. So put that as a high priority. And we're also going to ask them... I want to keep this nice and symmetrical, so I'm going to see... Can they reach up here? I don't think they can. So... I'll have them dig that out. I want to kind of keep it, like, symmetrical in here, just to make it nice. Uh, gas piping research. There's a lot of things that you got to research in order to get, so we got to make sure we're on that. And we need the research station and supercomputer to do so. And what's a pneumatic door? Closes rooms without blocking the flow of gas or liquid. Okay. So that would be a good idea for, like, when we start to venture out to keep creatures out, I would assume. And let oxygen through. And I guess if also if you just want to make proper rooms in your game, that would make sense. Oh, so we can actually get our next duplicate here. I didn't even realize that's what that noise was. So let's see. So we've actually... We've got a decent amount of good people here it looks like I'm, I'm already leaning towards this guy uh Balanchi here he's got six construction that's actually really good but he's afraid of violence cannot perform job combat which doesn't seem like too much of a problem we've been through like three days now and there's only been one fight and he has iron gut can eat anything without getting sick that's going to be really huge because i have a feeling we're not going to get a lot of good food so i think we're going to pick him and print him out Welcome, my friend. Welcome, welcome. Okay, so the problem here now is we don't have a bed for him, so we got to build that. So we're going to put that here next to the oxidizer. So sorry, you're going to be sleeping separate from everyone else, but that's the price you got to pay, my dude. Now, these guys are hard at work on getting that all out of there. Um, and actually, hold on. While she's up there, I want this to be deconstructed. I want all of this to be to get rid of. We're not gonna need it. And we gotta make that a high priority too. Cause we can't we can't leave all that oh well they already basically got it done. Jesus. Alright, perfect. Uh that that makes my life easier than it has to be. And our friend here, our new guy bunch, is already at work. I think that's actually a girl. So my apologies for that. So one of the things I'm noticing is we're not what is this? Insufficient resources. Okay, so we're, we don't have enough algae for that to work right now. Max gas pressure, insufficient resources, algae. Okay, so does it have to be like a certain range from algae to work? Or do they have do they have to put algae in themselves? I think they have to put the algae in themselves. Okay, yeah, so these guys are going to have to use algae in order to make it work, if I'm correct. So, uh, mining algae is going to be something we should be doing, if if that's what... I think that's what it's telling me, at least. So, we'll have these guys go and get this algae here. We're also going to prioritize this to an 8. Make it just get it done. So we can stop worrying about it. it looks like Joshua's already on it. Great, great. Okay. And we are going to speed up time here just to see what's going to happen.
hopefully they get this algae, put it in the oxidizers, which they already seem to all be working a little bit better now. And it's actually nighttime. So uh, I think we're going to pause it right here just so we don't waste any oxygen. Check on all the vitals of our guides. I think we're going to cut down the calories. We're going to go um, into 12,000 calories instead of going till they're full. And if that seems to be a problem, then I will get them, you know, better. Better, um, you know. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll raise it up a bit. So, let's see. So this is our oxygen overlay. I just want to look at all these stats real quick. This area is terrible. There's a lot of carbon dioxide down here. So we got to make sure these uh, algae deoxidizers are heavily at work. Um, this area up here is becoming a lot better though. So that's good. That's really good. I think she's stuck up there. We might need to put a ladder. <laughs> God. Okay. Um, and we could actually turn that into another room up there with the ladder. So I think I'll put the ladder here. Have her build tiles. Perfect. Okay. So this is very, like, unbreathable. So we got to fix that. And uh, let's see. Power grid. Yeah, we got all that. Temperature. It's pretty cool. So I don't think we're going to have any problems with that. This right here is getting a little warm, but that's about it. Um, light. That's the only really bit of light. Plumbing. And we don't really have the rest of it. Oh, decor. So over here is a really good space. That's a good space, too. Um, over here is not very decorated. So we might want to put in some things like plants and lights. And the tiles, like I said, are definitely helping, so we gotta keep that up too. But other than that, I think we are golden for our first part, and I'm actually gonna end it here, guys. So if you did enjoy, please let me know in the comments, guys. If you wanna see more of Oxygen Not Included, I have more parts coming along. And let's get some hype for Temper Void 3.0. I don't know if you guys noticed, but we got that new spanking brand new logo. I did design it myself, so uh, I mean, it's something I like to do. I like to just be creative designing my own logos and stuff and uh you know I, I really i'm satisfied with how it turned out let me know what you guys think if you like it don't like it i would love to know but uh that's gonna be it for this part guys um like i said be sure to like the video subscribe if you are not already and uh leave a comment down below uh, but that's it for today guys and i'll see you in the next part bye guys